Palestinians detained by Israel in Gaza blindfolded, stripped to underwear. A video showing at least 100 Palestinian men being detained by Israeli forces in Gaza has stirred controversy. The men were stripped down to their underwear, blindfolded, and forced to kneel on the street, with the Israeli army confirming the incident. Al Jazeera's Alan Fisher reported that these images echoed previous instances of men being stripped and taken to unknown locations in the region. Many detainees were recognized by family and community members, including a student, a local store owner, and a well-known journalist. Shawan Jabarin, director of the al Haq Human Rights Organization, compared the images to WWW2 prisoner treatment, labeling it inhuman, torturous, and a war crime. Some reports suggested that suspected Hamas fighters had surrendered to Israeli forces. Some of the detainees were released later. Among them was a shopkeeper with no ties to Hamas. Despite international criticism, the Israeli army appeared unapologetic, stating this was a necessary tactic for identifying Hamas links. The detainees were reportedly arrested from two shelters in Beit Lahia, Gaza, after being surrounded for days by Israeli forces. The Euro-Mediterranean Human Rights Monitor deemed these arrests arbitrary. Ahmed Bedier, president of the United Voices for America, condemned the images, calling it psychological warfare designed to break and humiliate the Palestinians. Among the detainees was Diaya al Khalout, correspondent of the New Arab News Outlet, who was taken to an unknown location along with his family. Hamas condemned the incident, calling it a blatant Zionist crime and urged international human rights groups to investigate. Al Jazeera's Alan Fisher pointed out the violation of international law in treating prisoners this way and publishing their pictures. The Israeli forces have detained and interrogated hundreds of Palestinians in Gaza and West Bank since Hamas's attacks on October 7th. This led to a massive air and ground offensive on the enclave by Israel, resulting in over 17,100 Palestinian and around 1,150 Israeli deaths.